Hi there, Dave Ashworth here. It's the 5th of February 2019 and today I'm going to talk to you about grounding and also the connection with the Earth Mother Consciousness. So these are two very different things but intrinsically linked together. So first of all, let's speak about our grounding connection. When we're born into this world, we have a certain measure of grounding with the uh, Earth Mother Consciousness or with the energy of the Earth. Now then, this may or may not be developed. We may have the connection as in we've got the wiring or, or the, the tubes for want of a better description, the pipe work, it's all there, but is it actually connected and is the Earth Mother Consciousness grounding our energies? Now, lots of people who enter the healing field know uh, more or less straight away that they're not grounded enough, but that's fine because the healing process, working with healing, is going to develop your grounding. So when we arrive here, there's a certain part of our energy system which is connected into the earth and that is in the pelvic area. So if we see the pelvic area is this box of very, very powerful energies that help us to be here and present in the earth, in the earth realm that is. Now the two chakras associated with that pelvic area are the root chakra and the sacral chakra. Red for the root, orange for the sacral. The colours are very important when working with these chakras, but we can leave that till another time. So when we arrive here, most of us are naturally very connected into the energy of the earth, not the consciousness of the earth mother, but the energy of the earth through these two chakras and particularly through the power in the pelvic area. To a large degree, the power in the pelvic area is very much keeping us alive. It's a great source of sustenance and nutrients that are given to us from the Earth Mother. So as we grow, uh, we develop our grounding. Now we have an energetic process within us which is called the ground spike. It's a little bit like a lightning conductor, which you might have seen on tall buildings or churches, where you get a spike high up and it comes down a copper uh, rod on the side of the building and it goes into earth. And what a lightning conductor does is it captures lightning and brings it safely to earth so that the lightning doesn't damage the, uh, the building. Well, the ground spike is a similar process. It comes right down through us. Imagine a spike of energy which is so strong it's like steel. It comes right down through the chakra system, through the central channel, and it penetrates the earth. Now in most people, it penetrates the earth to about a metre. But if you've developed yourself spiritually in a practical way, and by practical I mean actually working with energy, working with light, being a healer, uh, being a teacher of uh, any kind of spiritual practice, then that ground spike will develop and move deeper and deeper into earth. In fact, the earth mother consciousness will reach up into your being and pull that down to help anchor you and ground you into earth. Now, the deeper that spike goes, the more energy you can work with. You can't work with energy, you can't work with light unless you've got powerful grounding. Grounding is the key. The key to spiritual de development and the key to being able to become powerful at healing work. Now then, <clears throat> the other aspect I want to briefly touch on is development into your connection with the Earth Mother Consciousness. So see the Earth Mother as being essentially two beings. She is the physical being and her energy uh, develops everything that grows on this planet. Everything on this planet is grown or made by the Earth Mother. 
And the second aspect is her consciousness. So just like we are a physical being with an energy structure and with consciousness, which can grow and expand and develop, she is just the same. She has consciousness. Now the, the development into connecting with the Earth Mother consciousness is partly along the same lines as grounding. For example, the deeper and more powerful your grounding, the better connection you're going to have with her consciousness. But her consciousness is always trying to stimulate us to connect with her. The greater connection we've got with her energy and her consciousness is going to support us in our work of bringing light and bringing energy into this world. There's only one way that light gets into this world and that is through the hearts of those who stand forward and bring it in. And the way it flows is when one person connects it into the heart of another person or into the energy field of another person. This is why Jesus um, stimulated the disciples to go out and heal the sick. Because in that process of laying on of hands or healing by whatever means, whether it's speaking or through meditation or through a healing practice, as soon as those people connect one on one with each other, then that light will flow from the heaven or the masculine consciousness into this world. So that's how, that's how we open up the channels within ourselves, is by standing in that place of being the healer. The more we can stand in that place and bring energy and light to others, the more we will develop. So, energy is one thing, consciousness is another. Consciousness deals with light, energy deals more with the physical matter of this world. So, to develop the consciousness, or the conscious connection with the Earth Mother, firstly, we want a powerful grounding connection. And then secondly, we want to understand how we can develop this conscious connection. Well, going back to where we began with the pelvic area and those two chakras, the root chakra and the sacral chakra, again, think about this box full of energetic power. You know, this is the pelvis, this is the grounding, this is where it all begins. And then the second phase is, as the grounding spike goes deeper and deeper into Earth, what we find then is that the consciousness, the conscious connection also begins to develop. And this develops within you by moving upwards from that sacral area, into the solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra is our big sun. This is how we radiate ourselves, our light, our energy into the world. This is how we take our place in the world, is through, to a large degree, the solar plexus. This is the big sun. This is where we can shine our knowledge and wisdom into the world. So as the energy system or the consciousness opens and these channels open rising upwards into the solar plexus suddenly you're grounded from that almost central point from let's call it the central sun we're now grounded from the central sun rather than just from the top of our legs that earth mother is starting to hold us tight from that place the second level that the conscious link moves to is it rises to the heart and the heart is the center of everything that's the center of the universe for those who have had uh, experiences of being able to travel deeply into the heart will have seen the endless universes that can be accessed through that portal so the heart on one level is our physical pump to pump the blood around but really, this is the place where spiritual development takes place. This is the heart of hearts. So Earth Mother is trying to get into our heart. She's trying to rise up through the chakras into the heart. And when she attains that point, 
she can pull light down through us. At the same time, the universe, the universal consciousness, the masculine aspect, is always trying to pour light down into our hearts, trying to develop us, trying to enlighten us. So when we get the light coming down, accessing the heart, and the Earth Mother Consciousness rising up and accessing the heart, then we become a bridge between heaven and earth. And the phase that develops after that is where the light passes straight down through the channel she has opened and it anchors itself into her heart, into the core of the earth. Not just a few meters down, right down into the core. And she reaches up through the heart, out through the crown chakra and anchors herself into the masculine aspect, the heart of the universe. And so we end up with a perfect two-way flow through our whole energy system of light and energy. His light, her energy. And then when those two are working together in harmony, that is when you become the manifester. So, energy and light, grounding and connections with the Earth Mother Consciousness. It's the connections with Mother that we need to concentrate on. Because as we develop uh, our spiritual practicality, for want of a better description, as we develop our practical skills and we get hands-on with bringing healing to friends, family or in a professional fashion, we're going to be developing all the time that connection firstly with the Earth Mother Energy and secondly with her consciousness. And as we develop with her, that encourages the light of the masculine aspect to come down and meet her. And the marriage of her and him, the masculine and the feminine, takes place within the heart and that's when you manifest. That's when your feet are totally grounded and your heart is open into the universe. I hope you found that interesting. Um, that little uh, episode really is a teaching I wrote for the Emerald Heart School uh, and that teaching is available to the students of the, uh, the Emerald Heart School. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Have a nice day. See you later.